subs on my timeline and I come across this strange video with Russell Brand. Now really I only know Russell Brand because he was married to Katy Perry and he like broke her heart. I remember watching the Katy Perry movie and she was having to do the concert and he's just like telling her about wanting a divorce and she's in the chair like sobbing broken down and they're pretty much like what do you want to do you want to go on with the show or you want to cancel like what do you want to do and she's like sobbing tore up just poor thing and um she's like let me just fucking do it and she's just like crying the whole time trying to get herself together and she's like right up to the moment she's like getting up to the stage and um has to go on and as soon as she gets there puts on a smile and rocks it the fuck out on that stage i loved watching that movie that was really good um but yeah like he broke her heart and um he's talking about in this video how he was promiscuous um back in the time when he was in the industry it's a really weird video but it's obvious that he knows that something is about to come out a story is about to drop um, he's saying that these uh, news enti news entities um, are upset about whatever he's doing on his channel. I guess he has some show or whatever he's talking about. So in retaliation, they're going to come out with this letter or all this evidence of stuff that he's been doing. And he's like, some stuff is stupid, but some stuff are really, really serious allegations. And um, he's taken back to relationships he had in back when he was in the industry and he was promiscuous. And it's a lot has been happening. A lot, a lot has been happening. But I've never quite seen a video like uh, like this where it's like, OK, let me get ahead of the ball. He is like refuting all the claims. I don't even know what the claims are yet. We don't even know what the claims are yet. At this point, it was posted like three hours ago. Um, it's like, whoa, just whoa. Like, do you feel like, like, I don't know what to think because we don't know what it is that is being said. But um, you can see from the video that it's going to be something of, um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. It's going to be of some type of nature that is not good, obviously, which is why he's making these videos. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, what publication is going to come out? Is it going to happen this week? Some bombshell exclusive? So Russell Brand is saying he's under like some coordinated media attack by two mainstream media outlets. And I was looking on his page. Apparently he does this show Stay Free on Rumble, which is like another platform uh, where you can do videos and stuff like that. Um, and he talks about different things, conspiracy, I guess, stuff that the media would have a reason to want to silence him or make him want to go away or be quiet. I'm not sure because I've never watched his stuff. And I don't want to quite, you know, say anything because we don't know what it is that he's even what do you, what the claims are yet? We just know from what he's referencing, what kind of arena it's probably going to be in. Um, but I went up underneath the video and of course you get Elon Musk who is commenting like, oh, of course, you know, they're doing that. They don't like competition. And like someone right underneath it was like, is it wise for you to pick sides when you don't even know what the claims are yet? And it's just like, Right, you like what we don't even know what the hell is going on with Russell Brand. Um, so uh, he's definitely getting ahead of the ball, definitely getting ahead of the ball. Yeah, so I even like just typed in Russell Brand <laughs> online to see if any story had dropped quite yet. All I'm really seeing is obviously um, different publications picking up on him putting out this video about three hours ago, you know, Daily Mail, Hello Magazine, The Mirror, and everything like that. And then I scroll down and I see these articles that say, who is Russell Brand's wife, Laura Galsher, couple reconnected in East London? That was an article from six hours ago. 
Um, who knew that Russell Brand was in the post like that? Or is this something that preemptively was brewing in the background? It obviously seems like it if Russell Brand was getting letters sent to him saying everything that he's done and saying and accusing him of it seems like some horrible things and again this is not me saying anything I'm just kind of reporting on what I'm seeing because it was a very strange video to come across like of someone just like preemptively coming out and being like hey this is coming um, and I don't want to say that's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't even know what the claims are you know and then I see this other article, it says, by the mayor, Russell Brand and Katy Perry, oh, sorry, Russell Brand and Katy Perry, tornado marriage from fiery rose to divorce text. And that was 14 hours ago. Russell Brand and Katy Perry have been divorced and done for years. She is like married to Orlando sexy ass bloom and has like a kid and everything. So why 14 hours ago is the mayor talking about his marriage? You know, and these are like two close women that he's with that they're like digging out information on and making like these random articles on all of a sudden. It's just like, what? And then like eight hours ago, the Daily Express put out Russell Brand net worth. How did the actor comedian make his $16 million fortune? So there's definitely, I mean, something's happening. Something's happening. Like, Hello Magazine, look back at Katy Perry and Russell Brand's short-lived marriage three hours ago. Um, Russell Brand posts video denying unspecified allegations made against him in mystery video. So, and he is saying that there are criminal accusations that are being alleged against him. So this is just like, ooh, not good, not good, not good at all. Um, yeah something's happening something's happening and then I also saw come down my timeline going back to Ashton and Mila which I'm just like ugh. I, I, I just my, my views hasn't changed on that it's just kind of like it's it's whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen but we see that now Ashton has resigned from his anti-trafficking organization, Thorn. And page six just did like a cut through article headline, just like minced no words, like was just blunt as fuck. The headline says Ashton Kutcher resigns from his anti-trafficking organization after praising rapist Danny Masterson, like just flat out after praising our work like come on um so he resigned and i think at this point given how many other survivors victims probably were offended by this act um i think it's probably was the best thing or something that you know was being pushed by the boards or you know the higher ups or whatever because it just really was distasteful and disrespectful and it just really shouldn't have been done but I know that there was probably a reason that it was done which is really really crazy there's some deep-seated back shit that's just fucking happening um I truly do feel that there was a reason that they had to do it um but yeah he resigned from this organization that he helped create Thorn. The actor stepped down in a letter sent to fellow board members on Thursday following an onslaught of recent backlash for his support of convicted R word Danny Masterson. Yeah. After my wife and I spent several days of listening, personal reflection, learning, and conversations of survivors and the employees and leadership at Thorn. Yeah, so maybe he was talking to like like I said, like he was talking to people who were like, Look, that is kinda like what if that was me in the situation and somebody else wrote a letter directly refuting everything that I just came out and told about my story and everything that I dealt with. Like you gotta put yourself in other people's shoes. Um after my wife and I spent several days of listening, personal reflection, learning, and conversations with survivors, employees, and leaderships at Thorn, I have determined the respons responsible thing for me to do is resign as chairman of the board, effective immediately. Kutcher 45, oh, I didn't know he was 45. Oh. 
Kutcher 45 penned in the memo shared publicly on Friday. I cannot allow my air of judgment to distract from our efforts and the children we serve. Yeah, that's that's very true. Very, very true. Um, so he has stepped down. I feel like this is definitely all happening for a reason. Um, it's all very interesting what's happening in these parts of the internet and the world in general. So I guess be on the lookout for some exclusive with Russell Brand and something's popping off that he's for sure trying to get ahead of. Um, I've never gotten, I've never seen anything quite like that. Um, and I don't know how to feel about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later.